Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I have a new painting I just finished, and uh, in a few days it's headed off to a, a show, so I thought I'd show you the painting and the process real quick before I have to ship it out. So um, I think we're going to do things a little differently this year, and I'm just going to show a little bit of the process, talk about um, what I was doing, and you know, just, just show like little bits and pieces that I think would be interesting for you guys rather than the entire painting. Uh, let me show you the painting real quick. So, this is In Harmony. A little bit of a close-up of it. It's got this nice champagne floater frame. Yeah, so this one came together pretty quick. Uh, it was uh, a fun one to do. Uh, I really was getting into the texture, and I think there'll be some fun uh, clips from the process to share with you guys. So stick around if you want to see how this painting was made, and if you guys can like and subscribe, that would be awesome, because I really want to grow this YouTube channel in 2022. So I'm going to be posting a lot more, and I look forward to sharing more and talking with you guys about the paintings. So yeah, so let's get into watching the process, and I'll, I'll give you my thoughts. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I like to start off with a lot of like chaotic texture and just colors and paint all over the place. And the reason I do this is I feel like it's easier for me to make things uh, more defined as I go on rather than make something really specific and then make it abstracted. So if I want all these like textures and interest in my painting, I like to put that in first and sort of let those abstract shapes guide how I place the, uh, the figure and like the new strokes and stuff. So that's just sort of my technique for um, getting a really natural and expressive feel. But I've also seen other artists do the complete opposite where they do something very detailed and then break it down a little bit. So you can, you can really do it both ways, but this is the way I like to do it. Um, and then later in that clip you can see I do a big scrape of the red dress. And this is nice because it sort of unifies that red color into the background. And it also smooths out the dress so you have some areas that are very, um, have lots of brush strokes and sort of sharp textures and then that adds more of a smooth texture when you do a scrape like that. So it's like both making it look more detailed and unifying it with the background at the same time. So yeah, let's uh, keep watching. Those are my favorite strokes in the whole painting. <laughs> Those two little green ones. Okay, so for that part you see me working on the hands and the arms and a little bit more on the dress and the background. 
So for the arms, I it, you really see me working them out in the way I think about painting, sort of like sculpting, where I'm laying down areas and adding to them and subtracting from them, but not trying to make it like perfect right away. Like it's not like I'm drawing out the arm. It's sort of like laying down the position of the arm and building onto it, or maybe pushing the color outside the boundaries of where it should be and then carving away at the definition with the background color. So hopefully that makes sense on how I'm thinking about um, building a figure. And then you see in the background I'm adding a bunch of layers but leaving some of the reds and different colors in the background showing through so it gives it more life and energy. And then on the red dress, you see I'm just constantly building up the dress in general. So it's not like I just do one pass and it's perfect. I'm adding constantly and adding more detail and just trying to refine it and build on it and make it look better. So that's something that I come back to many times in this painting is I lay in the dress, I add to it, I work on something else and then I go back to the dress and add to it more. So yeah, let's uh, watch uh, the finishing part of this painting. So as you can see there, I'm just building up the dress a lot more and adding more details. And in this final image, you can see I have added more to the plants in the background and to her hair and just, just sort of fine tuning all the little details to make it look like a finished painting. This painting will be at the LA Art Show starting uh, January 19th through the 23rd. So if you're in the Southern California area, please go check it out at uh, a Bend Gallery. And um, yeah, I'm going to do a ton more videos like this coming up. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.